This was your fifth speech, your body speaks. And so we'll start with the good points and the things that you did really well. You, you did pick a great topic in terms of body movement and motion. It has three different types of events in the triathlete. So you're able to come out, you slowly sort of walked in and you made a nice calm entry into the, uh, into the room. And you were able to sort of model physically a lot of what was going on as part of those events. And throughout the whole thing, you had great hand movement, you had great eye contact the majority of the time. And I felt that overall your confidence was, was really high. I went back and watched your previous four speeches and, and noticed the first speech you, you were sitting behind the podium, heavily relying on notes. Second speech, you had note cards. And by the third and fourth speech, you were already sort of gaining a lot of momentum. Uh, you had sort of mentioned in, in advance that you were sort of concerned that this might be a little shaky. I did not notice any sort of sense of shakiness at all. You seemed extremely confident. You always have a great command of the topic of what you're discussing and what you're presenting. It flows very logically and smoothly. So you started off kind of talking about why, why uh, you know, that for a first one, why slow and steady does not win the race. Clearly, you were getting last place at times. These are topics that are near and dear to my heart as well. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, I think for one thing, what that, what that, what that does is a message, is of course, encourages people that it's okay. And what's more important is the participation. I feel like that was really what your core message was, was to get out there and get involved. And it's not as intimidating and not as impossible or difficult as it may seem. And it's totally fine to, to not win. So I think that was loud and clear. In terms of some things to improve, this is this is a little bit dicky, I'm gonna be or a little bit tricky because it's gonna be yeah, not bad. I <laughs> 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 categorized mouthisms and so a whole, whole bunch of other things. That was one of them. I cannot think of which one it was, where there's some word swapping going on. <laughs> but <clears throat> in terms of I'm gonna be nitpicky about the types of things that, that you can improve on. Uh, one is that I think that you'll pause every once in a while and you sort of disengage, you'll sort of shut down a little bit just for a moment as you collect yourself. And I feel like that, that you can probably still stay present and engage with the rest of the audience in high contact and that might help in terms of, of the break. Uh, other things are that clearly you're, you're, you're fairly introspective, you're pretty smart, you're pretty sharp, you think, you think at a lot of depth. And so most times when you bring topics, they've got a lot to them, there's a lot of meat and there's a lot of things to go through. I think over time you sort of simplified that model down to where, you, where in this case you said I've got these three points. And I think kind of continuing down that line would be good, just so you don't make, don't come with too much material, too much complexity. Uh, the only other suggestion I have is that I lost the first point of why we, we should do this. I, I know you mentioned that you can die, people do die, and I lost why I should do it. <laughs> <laughs> the other two have a team, and having plenty of events to choose from were all uh, great options. But overall, I'd say you're, you're doing an excellent job, and 